Well, hello everybody out there and welcome to this. This is a first for me. This is an actual official unboxing from the Jack Horror Hounds House of Horrors studio. Um, some people might be going like, well, why? What are you doing an unboxing for? There's obviously like a billion unboxing videos uh, online. That's a fair question, but it's special for me because um, I'm not really one, this is kind of a, a strange thing to admit, I suppose, but I'm not really one for like collectibles and items like that. I, I don't really collect figurines. I don't really collect like memorabilia, masks, things like that. Um, obviously I'm a massive fan of like going to horror conventions and things like that. It's 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 where I get to be kind of like myself and, 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 and talk and, and, and interact with other people from the community. So like horror cons are a, hold a special place in my heart. Um, but in terms of, of going there and, and like consuming stuff, the ma major things I always go for are, are DVDs and limited editions. I mean, this is my haul from this year's uh, horror con. I got El Topo, which is pretty sweet. I got the nice hour edition film of Shock. Let me talk about this film, absolutely. Uh, we've, got, we've got the special edition Mario Bava's Bay of Blood arrow release which i'm really looking I'm really excited to kind of getting into i've got a double feature a double whammy that's right folks of hell of the living dead and uh rats and yes we will be doing rats that's just a heads up for future episodes of jack car house of horrors evil dead 2 the 25th uh special edition anniversary edition um the only reason i bought this it's not like i don't own it of, of course but um my disc has been scratched severely so i re-bought that which was awesome and um David Cronenberg's Videodrome. Um, haven't seen it in years and wanted to get the special edition release on, on, on Arrow. So I've got those. But when I go to a horror con, that's the kind of thing I shop for. Um, other than that, it's usually um, original print posters. I've got a massive roll of posters. Um, and kind of one-to-one prop replicas uh, are more my kind of thing. But in terms of things like masks, uh, t-shirts, uh, figurines, things like that. I don't really have them. Now, in my new studio, and I'm gonna kind of show you around um, soon, um, obviously we've just moved, moved, moved into the new house. Um, I, I kind of had a change of heart over the last couple of years and I wanna kind of fill it with more prop memorabilia and, and figurines and things like that. The long story short, cut short, is that um, this is my first mask buy. Now, my kind of plan is to have a, a, a big shelving unit and to house um, kind of the kind of very best, again, one to one replicas of masks that I can find because that's kind of what I'm into is you know the the, the replicas the the photo uh, film s film realistic kind of, of of merchandise I suppose so that's my final thing. But um, what was special for me this year is that I'm a massive fan of Mad About Horror, which are an awesome bunch of guys that obviously sell loads of memorabilia all to do with horror they often sponsor horrorcon uk and they're awesome now just to say i'm not affiliated with this company at all uh, i'm just putting myself out there by going like personally i've met these guys i think they're awesome i love their products and you know i think they they do a really good shake and really good deals with people so i was really excited but here's the thing uh when i was at horrorcon at that specific moment i was uh a bit strapped for cash so I, I, I'd already paid for all my DVDs and I, I'd bought actually a couple of, of, of original posters and so unfortunately I didn't have the, enough funds to buy a mask but what I did because I was committed to this idea of buying my first prop replica mask I, uh, I bought it online and I went onto the Mad About Horror uh, website and had a good browse through their through their merchandise and I already knew what I wanted because I am an original Universal Monsters horror fan uh, that's where I want to start my collection. So I'm going to start with all the monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, etc. And see where we go from there. Frankenstein. Mask. So that's what we're about to unbox. So here we go for Jack Horror Hounds House Horrors first unboxing video. Alright, so here we go. Scissors just broke. It's going well. It's going well. Cool. What have we got? Look at this, looks like some sort of postcard. Awesome, check that out. It's got some cool artwork. And obviously it's the Mad About Horror Series 13, limited edition of 1000 art cards designed exclusively for Mad About Horror by artist Sam Hain, 1992. And Sam Hain appears to be on Instagram and on Twitter, Sam Hain Artist. It's pretty cool, it's a really good piece of artwork. So there we go, that's the first thing. We have a Mad About Horror series exclusive. Oh, okay, so this is 
more about these cards, these art cards, that you can collect them all. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Got the order here. Order sheet, really important. Handle with care. Oh, cool. Okay, here it is. So here it is. Wow, it's bigger than I thought it'd be. Wow, it's thick. It's really thick. Wow. So there is the Frankenstein monster in all his glory. Check it out. Like I said, it's, it's big. It's a big mask. I guess it's got to go on. So obviously I won't be displaying, I won't be putting these on and wearing them for Halloween. I'll actually just be displaying them. So he's got his bolts in the side of the neck there. He's got the tag, which is pretty cool. Frankenstein tag. So it's official, official merchandise. Realistic hair. So the hair's real. I guess you've got to kind of mess around and plait it and you know i'll have to probably gel it or something obviously it's just um just come out of the box so it's completely all realistic hair all the way around that's pretty cool and on top look and then you've obviously got the bolts and things it's got a nice paint nice like grayscale green paint just like the original actual monster was painted in that fashion it's pretty cool it's a little bit shiny i guess that's just kind of because it's new Obviously, like I said, I've never had an, a real mask before. Um, but not bad, it's got all the details, so the scarring's there, look. So this is a Trick or Treat Studio special. So obviously these guys design really awesome masks. Trick or Treat Studios, it's pretty cool. Um, but I obviously bought this from Mad About Horror, which obviously if you're in the, the UK, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And this is my first mask, and it's going to be displayed proudly in my brand new studio. Jack Horror Hounds House Horror is coming soon. Uh, one episode at the end of every month, and then mini episodes and more film reviews coming at every Sunday uh, of, of the month. That's, that's going to be in the future. But until next time, folks, stay safe, stay scared, and we'll see you soon. Bye.